In this video, I'm going to share with you four banks where you can get over $50,000 worth of funding for your brand new LLC with no proof of income. And the great part about this, you can do this as little as 24 hours to get this funding. And you can really do this with multiple new LLCs that you start on the same day getting them all funding and i have done this myself with these four banks now if you guys stick around to the end i'm going to even give you a bonus bank where you can go and get that money for a new llc and we're going to break it down in this video now many people believe when they start a business that they need their own savings or capital to invest in this business to get it started but that is simply not true i have made that mistake in the past and you lack what we call working capital to really keep your business venture going the best way is to get the funding from the banks to do business and so you can do this with a brand new llc and these banks will give you funding now the way that you can get this funding for your brand new business is through business credit cards now understand most banks want to see you in business for two years minimum to give you a loan for your business to see that the business had made income via your tax returns for that business. But with business credit cards, you can take steps to liquidate those cards and get access to the funds you need to start your business ventures. And keep in mind, business credit cards come with larger credit lines than your personal credit lines and Many banks do not report those business credit card lines to your personal credit. So when you do access those funds, it is not showing up as utilization on your personal credit report, which is the mistake a lot of people make when they're starting a business is using their own personal credit cards and it causes their credit scores to go down now these banks will give you zero interest business credit cards some for 24 months nine months or a period of time where you can leverage that business credit card to get the funds to get your business operations started without you using your own personal credit cards or your own personal capital or savings in the bank. Now, one of the things the banks are going to look for to give you these business credit cards for your new LLCs is looking at your personal credit to make sure these factors are lining up. They want to see a 680 credit score and above. And they want to see that you have no derogatory items such as bankruptcies, collections, charge-offs on your personal credit report, which you need to take care of before you apply for these cards. And it's quite easy to do. I launched out my elite credit system and users like Sean was able to increase his credit score from a 612 credit score all the way up over 750 within six months with one of his scores being close to 800. And now Sean have moved on and has business credit by working with me for his businesses. So it doesn't take long to clear up your personal credit. If you need help with that in coaching, you can hit the link in the description of the video to sign up for the elite credit system. Now, the other thing that you want to be mindful of on your personal credit is hard inquiries. Now we give you a free hard inquiry removal package at my website. You can pick that up from the link in the description of the video. And you want to remove 
as many heart inquiries that you have if you have a ton of them. You do not want more than six in a two year time frame. So if none of those inquiries are connected to open account, you want to clean that up. And if you want to expedite that, we have a way in my elite credit system to help you clean up those hard inquiries. So those are the things that the bank is going to look at with your personal credit. And there's one additional thing that they want to see on your personal credit report is that you have a personal primary credit card with at least a $5,000 credit card line. Okay. So they want to see at least a limit on one of your credit cards for $5,000. And I suggest you can get more of a limit. Do that because they look at the average limits on your personal credit cards because they know it takes a while to build up personal good credit and to get those larger limits you have to be a good steward for a minute to keep those credit lines. Now, if yours is below that, look at the banks that you are already in relationship with, with your credit card and see if you can get a credit limit increase with a via soft pull and see if you can bump up your credit lines if you don't have that as of yet. But as long as you have those factors, the banks will give you a business credit card for your new LLC. And when it business credit cards, it is stated income. So with that stated income, it's just saying what you project that your business will make in the first year. Now, keep in mind, you guys, small business is considered for any company that's making under $2 million. So Depending on the type of business industry that you in, look at the average of a business in that category in your area, how much it makes in that first year. So you can project the right amount of projected income. So you want to make sure that you're projecting the right amount on that because many businesses, if it's buying or selling things and products, it generates a lot of revenue. They're not asking about profit, but how much revenue is the business going to generate? So you want to make sure you project the right amount for that industry and understand banks give larger lines generally for business credit because you're doing business and you have to purchase things with that card and you can start your business by using those zero interest credit cards or even using ways to get cash off of those credit cards so you can start your business activities and get your business going to make money. Now, one other thing you wanna make sure when you're starting off your business, you wanna make sure you're not using risky names. Some banks do not work with certain industries. So real estate is one of those industries that banks can be apprehensive about or even trucking. Cannabis definitely is a risky industry. So you want to make sure your name of your business is not screaming out a risky industry. Also, you want to make sure that your business is in good standing with your current state. Many people have OLLCs or they started an LLC last year, but did you keep up with the compliance in your state? Did you pay your state fees? Did you file the continual paperwork that might be required for your business to be in good standing? Because they do check that at the time. So it's not only your personal credit, you want to make sure that your business is lining up properly. And most important, the information is lining up. You want to make sure that you follow up on all of those things before you start to apply. So those are the factors that the banks are going to look at to fund you. 
So let's jump into the first bank that will give you this funding. Now, the first bank on my list is American Express. Now, the reason why American Express is so easy, on the personal side of American Express, if you are in as a customer, all your other application for any other products is a soft pull approval. So it is no hard inquiry to apply once you're in on the personal side of American Express for your business credit cards. And now with the apply with confidence tool with American Express on your personal side, American Express not only have a pre-approval tool so you can see what cards you're pre-approved for on the personal side, but you can process an application and they'll let you know if you're approved without a hard inquiry. So American Express just makes it so easy for you to run up the bag for that new LLC or multiple LLCs. Now, the one downfall with American Express that I will have to say versus another bank I'm going to go over in this video is with American Express, they do have two excellent 0% interest business credit cards that are revolving. But the only thing with American Express, they only allow you to have four up to five. Some people will report revolving business and personal credit cards. You can get more charge cards, but they do have that max out for those revolving credit cards as one person you can personally guarantee for. Now with American Express, keep in mind, sometimes if you're new coming in on the personal side, they might pull two bureaus, which is Experian and TransUnion. Now they're not gonna let you get away with locking your credit reports for Experian. Some people try that, they will make you unlock it and do it again, because they did that to me. So do not do that. Um, you might luck up and bypass TransUnion, but they're gonna hit that Experian um, in the region I was in at the time. They did get me. So just keep in mind and don't play those games. And I end up doing that and got multiple pulls, just trying to do some, you know, backdoor stuff. So don't do that. Just go on and just take the hit on the two if you need to, because once you get in after that, that transunion will be only a soft pull when you get in on the personal side. So this is why I like American Express to run it up once you get those new LLCs. Now, the second bank on my list is Chase. Now, the only reason why I didn't put Chase first is because with American Express, as I said, once you get in, it's a soft pull. It doesn't work that way with Chase, but Chase is so great. And the reason why it was a hard toss up for me is because with Chase, unlike American Express, for those new LLCs, for those 0% interest business credit cards, they do not max you out. You can have multiple of their business ink cards that are 0% interest for multiple uh, different LLCs as you as the personal guarantee, unlike American Express. But when you apply, it is a new hard inquiry. Now, another reason why Chase is so great on the business side, if you didn't see my chase video on the different hacks with chase check it out but i mentioned this with chase if you are doing a brand new llc you can bypass the 524 rule that applies on your personal side 
if you're applying for an LLC, if you don't know what the 524 rule, Chase have a hard standing rule that if you have five new credit card lines in two years or 24 months, they automatically deny you. No matter how good your credit score is, they don't care if you got a 850 credit score, you're denied if you're over that. But that rule doesn't apply for a new LLC and they look at that business as standing alone. You just personally guaranteeing. So that's a backdoor hack. If you're a person that could not get into Chase because of the 524 rule, you can get the business credit card for that new business. So you can get multiple business credit cards with 0% interest for each new LLC when you are dealing with Chase. And so that's why I put them at number two. Now with Chase, most of the times they're gonna either pull from Experian or TransUnion. There's some reports they will pull from Equifax, but the majority of time it's gonna be Experian or TransUnion. And Chase, unlike American Express, is a little more inquiry sensitive. So I suggest if you have inquiries or you're teetling over too many inquiries on that Experian or TransUnion, you go with Chase first to try to get those business credit cards before American Express because American Express is a little more tolerable for hard inquiries than Chase. Now, the third bank on my list is Bank of America. Now, the great thing about Bank of America, they do have zero interest credit cards and one of their credit cards is a MasterCard, which makes it really easy to use with platforms like Plastique and other platforms like Milio Payments if you need to try to get some cash off of that credit card. Now, with Bank of America, what's great about them, you can get multiple products with one hard inquiry within 30 days with Bank of America, okay? Even like auto loans. So once you get that hard inquiry with Bank of America applying for their business credit card, you can just go ahead and apply for another one in that 30 day window. Now, I wouldn't go for, you know, more than two because they do start pulling back on the limits after you get over that second card. But with Bank of America, that is a real great benefit where you can get more money for your LLCs or a new LLC with a personal guarantee through Bank of America. Now with Bank of America, you want to know they're going to primarily pull from TransUnion. So just keep that in mind and just review your credit scores with that bureau before you apply. Last but not least on my list is Truist. Now with Truist, um, the reason why I put it at number four, it is a regional bank and may not have a presence like the prior three banks in every state. But one thing about Truist, they do for the personal side, have a good pre-approval tool. And if you build a relationship, they do have a lower credit scores that they will tolerate to get personal credit cards if you need to add that personal line to get to their business credit cards. Now, with the Truist, they are really good with their business credit cards. They do offer a 0% interest business credit card for nine billing cycles. So that's like nine months that you can use. But Truist is very easy to qualify for. I have a business account with Truist and I went into branch to open it up with Truist. And um, 
I was approved right there on the spot. They kind of go through that process, but Truless is a bank that now on the business side, they do want you to go into branch if you're going to open that business account. And they definitely want to see that you have some kind of relationship with them. So either if you don't have any personal business with Truist, you definitely need to open that business account and then apply for that business credit card. Just don't go there to the website and try to apply. So they are very workable with Truist and they do have later on down the road, a business line of credit you can attain after two years with Truist quite easily. But with your new LLC, they will give you those business credit cards. I will give you guys a warning about Truist. Do not try to apply for their business credit cards or accounts with a virtual office you are better off by having it at your residence if you don't have an office because they are now um, sending out merchants to go and check out and it's a merchant inspection so please don't pull it with truest because they won't even open the account now i'm going to give you guys a bonus bank now, the bonus bank I'm going to give you guys for sticking around to the end is PNC Bank. PNC Bank is a great bank, but just like Truist, they're more regional. Now, with PNC Bank, they do have transfer. So you can transfer business account balances with some of their cards. So they have a 0% interest for a balance transfer for business only. So meaning when you transfer that balance from that other business card, you can transfer it over with no interest to that PNC bank card for 0% interest for a number of months but everything that you're transferring over has to be connected to business no personal so that is a great bank i do have a business account with pnc also but i don't have a card with them yet because i want to use them later on for that balance transfer when some of these other cards is up in the cycle and it's time to pay those off if it's over that 0% interest introductory rate, then I'm gonna you know, go to the PNC side. They're a great bank to work with and they are a relationship bank also. I'm also going to give you a warning with PNC, just like with Truist. If you have a virtual office where your LLC is registered, do not pull it with PNC. Okay. You definitely want to have that connected to your home if you don't have an office space for real, because they will issue out that merchant inspection okay and they will shut you down so don't even do it so i'll give you that warning and that heads up so i hope this information was helpful to you guys if you have any questions or comments you can drop it right here in the comment section but if you got more direct questions for me and it might be personal you can go to my website and all your questions go directly to my cell phone. I hope to see you guys in the next video. Stay tuned.